Okay, let us try to solve problem number one. You are riding a toboggan down an icy run to a frozen lake. And you accelerate the 80 kilogram combination of you and the toboggan from 1 meter per second to 2 meter per second in 2 seconds. How much power does that require? So we first is down the given, we are given the mass, which is 80 kilograms, the initial velocity to be one meter per second, the final velocity to be two meter per second, and T, okay, the time is two seconds. So we are asked to find the power. So if we're going to solve this problem, say uh, solution the idea is to get the work and then after getting the work we divide that by time and then we will be having the uh, required power so power is required so from the given, we will have an idea what formula for work are we going to use because we are given the initial and the final velocities. Therefore, we can use W and we are also given the mass here. So we can also use, we can use W as the uh, change in uh, kinetic energy. So the change in kinetic energy is equal to one half okay, mass, which is 80 kilogram, 80 kilograms, and then the final velocity is equal to two meter per seconds and then we square that and then minus one half times what's that 80 kilograms 80 kilograms we might as well uh, factor out the one half first but uh already here so we just continue multiplied by one quantity squared of course this will be in meter per second so let us show that let us show that this is in meter per second meter per second so we have squared so W will be, so let us try to factor one half 80, one half 80, and then we will have this one, 2 squared minus 2 squared minus 1 squared. So that will be equal to 40 minus times 3. It's equal to 40 times 3. That will be 120. What will be the unit? This is in kilogram. And this one is meter, meter squared per second squared kilogram meter per second this will be in joules okay so that will be in joules and if we're going to uh, solve for the power power is simply w over t and w is equal to 120 joule per 2 
seconds and the answer will be 60 watts so 60 so here is our final answer for number one so in here is problems number two to five I decided not to uh, solve this anymore and just write the answer here because the approaches are basically all the same as I have shown in problem number one uh, we can have a derived formula for power here to be uh, is one half and then we have m times the quantity bf squared minus bi squared and then all over t and you will end up with uh, watts as the unit so try applying this uh, derived uh, formula. Doon din ang galingan sa mga diniscuss natin. This is just the change in kinetic energy. Which is equal to work. And then that is work over time. And you will have the power. So, might as well, I will solve other problems. Uh, problem 6 to uh, 20 are different approach. So, this one will be your practice problem. 